Hi guys, so I recently uploaded a video about corruption and in that video I talked about how a private company was donating money to the Conservative Party. The Conservative Party was turning around and awarding them a contract outside any tendering process. Now, here is another form of corruption that takes place. It's a different form, but it's still corruption. Um, of course, I link all of the material I use in the description of this video so you can check it out and please do check it out. Don't take my word for it. But this is um, the TED website. It's Tenders Electronic Daily. They upload um, official documents um, from all around Europe, including the UK. These are tenders. So these are uh, requests for private companies to provide services. Now, generally, in a, under a tender process, um, the government, for example, issue a tender they ask companies to bid on it, so they provide prices. For example, if you, as I said before, if you want to build a bridge, you ask different companies to provide um, the costs that they believe are necessary, and they bid on it. Uh, and then the government normally chooses the best price. Uh, it doesn't all, it doesn't have to be the lowest price. Maybe they add extra services or whatever, or they're a reputable company. But generally, there is a bidding process, and there is uh, transparency generally. Now. This is a, uh, a this is a tender that was which, that was issued by the government. Um, you can see here uh, the Department of Health and Social Care. Uh, the company that won this tender is Randox Laboratories. Now you may have heard this name before. I did talk about it on the channel before. Now, how much is the contract for? How much is the tender for? It's for three hundred and whoops three hundred and forty six million five hundred thousand pounds so this is a huge contract okay the the description of the uh, the procurement is provision uh, of services to to support the uk covid19 testing strategy now maybe you've heard about this company before let me explain uh actually i'll go here first this is uh, an article that was released on wednesday the 4th of november from the guardian it says here tory linked firm involved in testing failure given new 347 million pound contract. So this is this new contract. Matt Hancock has backed transfer of nearly 500 million pounds to Randox during pandemic. So what are they talking about failure here? Well, let me talk about Owen Patterson. Owen Patterson is currently the Secretary of State for, the, uh, for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs an outspoken critic of the European Union, <laughs> which is, I'll come back to that later. Um, now, what, what is the problem with Owen Patterson? Well, Owen Patterson isn't just a member of parliament. He isn't just a secretary of state. He also has a side activity. He's moonlighting, okay? So let me read this about him as a consultant. Now, this is all at the moment. This is not in the past or, you know, in the... in something he did before he became a politician. This is happening at the moment. Since returning to the, back, returning to the back benches, Patterson has gained substantial income from, the from a range of consultancy activities. It has been reported that besides his salary as an MP, he earns £8,333 a month for a monthly commitment of 16 hours from Randox Laboratories in Northern Ireland. So, he earns £8,000 per month for doing 16 hours of work for a private company. Now, even if, let's leave aside the the fact that he's an MP. Does anyone know, <laughs> I don't know many jobs that pay you £8,000 a month for 16 hours work. And I don't know if he's a, a lab technician. <laughs> I don't think, no, he's a consultant. So he's not actually, you know, doing tests in the laboratory. Um, he also receives £2,000 for four hours every month, which works out at 24 hours a year, for a total of £12,000 per annum from Lynn, uh, Lynn County Foods, uh, a Northern Ireland-based processor of and distributor of sausages. So he has his finger in many pies here. <laughs> uh, he receives a payment of He received a, a payment of £4,399.06. pence. I love the sixpence from uh, the Northern Ireland uh, Meat Exports Asso Association Limited for a single speech. 
So he stood up and spoke for, I don't know, an hour, half an hour, an hour and a half, I don't know what it was, and he received 4,000, almost 4,400 pounds. Great money if you can get it. Once again, you have to remember he's an MP and he's a, a Secretary of State. Now, this is what is the more important form of corruption I want to get to. So the healthcare firm Randox, you remember Randox in our uh, 346 million pound uh, tender. The healthcare, the healthcare firm uh, Randox, which employs Owen Patterson as a paid consultant, has been awarded a 133 million pound contract without any other firms being given the opportunity to bid for the work. So this is a this is from an article from the Guardian. Um, let me just go to the date so you can see. It's from the 11th of May. I may have actually talked about this before on the channel. Um, but this is old information. But what, what happened? Uh, Randox was given a contract for £133 million during the beginning of the pandemic. And um, there was no tendering process. So the Department of Health and Social Care has given Randox the contract to produce testing kits to help respond to the coronavirus pandemic. It was awarded without prior publication of a call for competition, according to the details seen by The Guardian. So what, what's, the, what's happening here? You have a tender issued by the government to Randox. Randox is paying uh, Owen Patterson as a consultant, and then the government are deciding okay, who, who, are we, who are we going to offer this contract to without a tendering process? We're going to hand it over to Randox. Now, Randox has not been doing a very good job because we've seen here in this article, it says uh, linked to fail, failure, so a testing failure. We've seen how the testing has not been working. But, you know, even though the testing has not been working from Randox, Randox have not produced uh, good results. The government has still decided, let's give them another contract, this time for four, for £346 million. Pounds. The idea that you... This is, this is what I've been talking about all the, all the time. Companies either donate money directly to parties and get favours, or they do this other... They have this other approach. What they do is they hire politicians as consultants, and this is all legal, guys. This is There's nothing illegal here. That's the biggest problem about this type of corruption. There is nothing illegal here. This is all above board, in a sense. Private companies hire politicians, pay them £8,000 a month uh, for, for 16 hours of work, or, or they pay them £2,000 a month for four hours of work. They pay them for speeches. And then what do these ministers do, these uh, MPs or um, secretaries of state? They turn around and they hand the contracts to the people who they work for. Now, I don't care if you're a Brexiteer, I don't care if you're a Conservative, I don't care if you're a Labour supporter. You should be angry with this. You should be angry about this. This is, this is corruption, whether it's legal or not. Companies who have failed are being given new contracts at taxpayers' expense. Now, if you look up above here, Patterson has also subscribed, is a subscribed supporter to the conservative pro-Brexit European Research Group. Now, how is this involved? Well, if you go back to our uh, European website, I don't think Mr. Patterson would be happy that I or you have access to this information. And the European Union uh, is about transparency. I know that it has its problems, but it's working more and more towards transparency. And Brexit is the opposite of that. Because Mr. Patterson would like to hide this information from you. Because if you have this information, then you're going to go, oh, wait a minute, why are we voting for this guy? Why are we supporting this party? They're corrupt. Brexit is about hiding stuff. It's about reducing transparency. This is, once again, corruption. I'm going to call it out. I suggest that you do as well. Uh, all I ask of you guys is to share this video on social media. I think this needs to be called out. I want more people to know about this. And as soon as I see it again, I'm going to call it out. 
Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.